which have kickstarted 2024. As we're saying, 2024 is going to be a raucous year. Uh, Donald Trump resoundingly won the projected to win the delegates of uh, Iowa uh, by uh, about 70%, um, which is a resounding victory, um, especially with all these issues that he has. Uh, the young talent Vivek Ramaswamy has uh, dropped out and he has endorsed uh, Donald Trump. So you've got Ron DeSantis, who's the governor of Florida, who did well during COVID. Some say because it was a bit of a warmer climate, he had an advantage. <laughs> uh, but again, I think he did a good job with COVID there. Then you've got Nikki Haley um, with some of uh, the conservative media not appreciating her so yeah gents what are your thoughts about trump first uh primary i think the next one is in new hampshire uh where he's projected to win where he's leading by about 11 12 percent on his nearest rival um i think he's sewn up this republican uh thing unless something really drastic help happens with all his court cases. But I think all these court cases are just emboldening his supporters even more. So, yeah, I'll open the floor to you, gents. Your thoughts, quick thoughts on that. It's just started. I know by the time we get to the middle of uh, the year, uh, people will be talking more and more about it. I I, I honestly feel, um, I don't know, uh, the, the, the world was not ready for Trump the first time. Um, even those that, that did not want him to be in power were not ready for what happened. Um, I'm sure this time around, uh, there, there will be a more concerted effort in trying to get him out of the way. Um, you know, we've been hearing reports of, uh, uh, you know, the World Economic Forum uh, was not very happy with that. Uh, it took, um, you know, a good four years off their plans because obviously he's not on he's not on the same side with them. He has a lot of um, um, cowboyish uh, sort of tendencies where he's not uh, he doesn't play with with everybody else in in, in that polit in in, in, the, in, the, in those spheres very well. He has a very um, uh, what's what's the word we could use there um, a very um, sort of um, what's the word uh out there approach that is um that is not what people would want him to 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 do so there's a lot of people that obviously wouldn't want him to be uh in that seat um so i feel like with all these court cases uh, and it's past i i don't see him making it he has done well and I think he will do well in in in, in the next uh, few um, uh, months to come. But then at the end of the day, I think they'll they'll, they'll find one or two areas, uh, you know, like uh, Pennsylvania. I know Pennsylvania is very is very key. They'll find a few states like that that will just catch him, and you just you know, he's done. Maybe in twenty twenty four, you might now twenty twenty. You could have said that, but the, this train, eesh, um, they've they've blo they blocked off all his channels until Elon Musk opened it up on Twitter. Um, you know, but he's still popular. Uh, you know, so look, but that's just, just just that's the the beginning of what they can do. If they can clearly, if America can clearly shut out. Trump in certain spheres of media mm. and what have you then what I was saying that's almost oh, the like media, an African the media, sort of the, the media actually want him. <laughs> 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 you should have you should have seen some of the channels today. It's like yeah. they've got a fresh lease of life, like your CNNs, your M MSNBC, whatever, whatever you call that. Yeah, because was, this is the news they can't not yeah, report on. No, no, no. They they want him because that's it gave them four years of traction. Right, <laughs> this past four years they haven't had that traction, 
right? They might say, oh, he's like this, he's like this, but the the, the same song bits from 2016 to 2020 when he was in power have started to pop up again. You say, oh, where's this person been for four years? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They've now started to pop up the talking heads on CNN, on BBC. It's it, They are now getting their faces back on the screen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't know, Joe. <laughs> What's your take? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, listening to both of you guys, uh, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> you know, uh, I agree with Tinas and I disagree with Tinas. <laughs> uh, so you find that with uh, with Donald Trump, uh, these primaries, I think he's already pocketed them. They are already his. He's definitely going to win, but uh, we never know unless a uh, uh, meteor hits America. Uh, other than that, he's going to win this. Right. Uh, on the point of him becoming the next president, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a war that the mainstream media and the big big government which we call the deep state is actually working hard tirelessly to make sure that he does not step foot in the white house so his win will be solely dependent on the people uh, giving the deep state a big F U. Yeah. yeah. And I the yeah. industrial complex is going to be given a big F U. That will be Donald Trump's win. Other than that, if you follow whatever is happening on the mainstream media and on the alternative media, you find that there is great polarity in terms of what people are saying and thinking about his uh, candidateship, he, you know, he candidature in the coming elections. So I would say, uh, let, let the people speak. Yeah. Well, I, think, I think this situation, if Joe Biden is a very popular incumbent, let him run. Um, let him face Trump. There shouldn't be these states trying to remove him off the ballot. I think there was a one state which tried to remove him, and that case is now with the Supreme Court. So let the people decide. If he loses again, he's lost again. But if, yeah, but beats, if, but if, if, if they put Biden up um, on, for that rerun, then they, 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 they're just shooting themselves in the foot because he, he totally fucked up things, and it was, it was right there for everyone to see. So if... They think they're going. Biden's going to win over Trump. Then, ah, uh, <laughs> so, they're daydreaming. So uh, everyone knows the last four years, uh, Biden is really fucked up a lot of things uh, in the political landscape. Things have happened. Uh, let, let's talk about the wars. There were no wars in four years over Trump. Okay, let's cut one year because of COVID. Everything was locked down because of COVID. So there was no one was going to <laughs> antagonize someone else during lockdowns. So for three years, there were no nothing happened. With Biden, within three years, we've had two wars. Yeah, and, and, and it, it just doesn't seem like he's the one who's running that, that whole machine. America is a big country that has a lot of um, influence around the world. Uh, and if the president himself doesn't seem to be running that operation, then there are a lot of questions that are being asked. So who is running it? And I think more than anybody else, the Americans themselves have begun to realize that, you know what, maybe this thing is not really ours like we thought it was. Uh, maybe somebody's trying to, you know, have a, you know, a say in what, how we should live and what have you. And then, you know, the, this whole issue with Israel and what have you, uh, them realizing that there are a lot more Israelis uh, who are in charge of, uh, you know, key um, areas of, of that government, um, the monies that are being taken to Ukraine, the monies that are being taken to Israel, and all of these things. In, in, in the, when you look at it, look, Trump should win. But then at the end of the day, uh, these guys are controlling the 
the the, the, the inner workings of of that machine. And um, I won't be surprised they can pull a, a George Bush. Um, w- what year was that? Was it two thousand and two? Uh, where they, they yeah. totally just you know cheated outright. <laughs> Yeah, we were in 2000 when when he was elected they had to go to court so it might go to yeah. the supreme court there might be something look as i said 2024 something similar <laughs> 2024 is going to be very weird um they are going to throw the kitchen sink at him yeah um but i yeah but we'll see how we go as i said he still got the two favored people they are not dropping out Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis the Republican establishment, you know, the the OGs of the Republican Party, they want one of these career politicians. Uh, one outsider has already dropped out in Vivek. There's one outsider still left there. Trump was leading, um, but the two establishment ones are there. So something might happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the the only some, the only thing the only way leak. to remove him is. Uh, assassination yeah well that's 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 never <laughs> something that's never. that we can remove from the table <laughs> yeah so but as i said the the two yeah. esta- you know the like uh, previously tucker carlson was saying that i'm saying tucker carlson was mentioning that uh, he, now they've tried to silence him and now they tried to remove him on ballots and everything the next step is uh, arrest him. They can't arrest him now because all the cases now, they are slowly falling apart. And then the next stage is kill him. If they can't defeat him, mm. 